Now we're going to put this rod, uh, piston, and liner assembly down in. First thing to do is to take the lubricating soap and your fingers reach down and lubricate the sealing O-rings down in the block in the grooves. Take a little more, lubricate the skirt of the liner. so that it slips all the way through with no, no dry spots. I'm going to check to locate where the front of the piston is. I'll slip that down in a little bit tighter. Find the front and line it up with the front of the engine. Carefully lower it in. As it goes down, you'll be able to feel when it starts to enter the first O-ring. Give it a little shove, it should go through the first one. The second one's usually a little tougher and usually takes a little bit of pressure and a little bit of tapping. Okay, seat it all the way down. You can see I installed a hold down bolt here right in between the first two liners. I'll do the same thing here, just to hold these down. As we roll the engine over and the pistons go up and down, sometimes the friction can, can shove the liner up out of, its, uh, out of its seat and away from the O-rings, and you have to put it back down. It's good to keep it where it, where it is um, once you've got it there. Just a little safety measure. That'll hold it down. Now we'll roll this up and around and uh, install the rod bearing.